Research complete. Hello friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new project uh, that is servo motor. How we can operate servo motor LabVIEW plus Arduino. Okay, first you need a component and you see. Okay, first you need Arduino Uno. Okay. And second one is servo motor. And you see this is a servo motor Tower Pro. Okay, you need a one servo motor. And you see the uh, servo motor they have uh, three connections. And uh, first uh, color connection you see yellow means signal red mean power supply 5 volt and brown means ground okay and first you see this is the ground pin okay blue and uh, this is the white of ground and i'm connected on ground here you see this is the ground white color okay and you see the second is red ready for 5 voltage and you see here i have 5 volt okay you see 5 volt in the arduino i'm connected on the 5 volt here okay the last one is signal wire okay you see this is the yellow wire is signal wire and i am connected signal wire on the pin number seven you see it's pin number seven of arduino digital i'm connected on the pin number seven okay that's the all connections and uh, instrument of the project okay okay now let's start a programming okay come on the blog diagram right click on here and you see there have arduino you know sorry arduino pin it okay and first we need to int for initialization of arduino second one is the clause for close the program okay and you see they have a lots of thing here first we need to connect a sensor and see they have anything like servo uh, okay you see they have a servo click on it and you see uh, there have lots of thing first servo number uh, set number of servo configure servo uh detach servo servo write servo read like this okay first we need to set number of servo pin here like this then configure servo okay like this then right angle okay help of lab we uh, enter uh, some angle okay then servo motor is rotate help of this right okay and this is for the read how much angle they rotate okay now done okay okay first close it okay now select all of this come on here and click to vertical center okay it's on same position okay now first of all right click on here create a control okay this is for uh arduino com okay now uh like this okay first and the second one is uh connect to arduino resource to arduino resource all of connection like this okay okay now connect to this now done and same for error out because this is the communication error uh, communication pins okay or we can say communication wire help of this the every module is interlinked with each other okay that's uh, important if you don't do this then you face an error okay uh, now select all of these right click on here and click to visible label you see okay now uh, increase this okay now this is servo read this is servo write and this is configure servo like this okay all done okay now let's start and you see there have a set number of servo what's the mean of this okay you see there have one pin that is number of servo means if you connect a lot of servo then you first uh, declare here right right clear uh, create control okay and double click it and you see there have a servo i am using right now one servo that's why it's one if you using two servo three servo four servo that you need to declare here like i am using if i use two servo then i'm declare like two okay now but i have a uh, one servo that's why i'm using one okay it's done okay that's why the number is set number of servo first we need to declare here how much servo you use okay the second step is configure servo okay we need to configure here like which pin you uh, connect servo of the signal okay and you see they have two terminal first is servo number which servo you use like uh, if i have two servo then uh, i'm consider this is one then same i'm uh, using two that's i'm declared two but 
I have right now one servo that's why I am enter servo number one right click here create control you see okay the servo number is start from zero you already know about like uh, zero means one then two three okay zero means one this is initialization means starting it's how uh, you uh, use one servo okay or uh, starting that's why it's starting from zero okay that's why i'm using if you need like if you have a two servo then first you need to and two here okay um increase it okay this is the number of server if you have two server then you declare two okay and uh, if you configure like first is your zero first is your zero servo and if you need another like if you have two servo then what you do a uh, control c and control v okay this and this connect to in this betweens okay like you see there have a uh, uh, resource error connect to this and error to this okay then this output from there okay then you need to declare here like servo right clear and control and you need to write here servo one okay you and sorry you enter here servo one like this it means you have two servo you see uh, you firstly you declare two servo then one is zero the another one is one okay this is the declaration or a configuration of servo but now i have one servo i have one servo that's why i'm using this zero zero means one one means two it means two servo okay now i'll delete this because i have one servo now i'll delete this if you have any uh, like two servo three servo then you need to configure that servo like this okay i'll delete okay okay the next one is you see they have diu pin right click here and control okay it's mean you need to declare which pin of the arduino you use i am using pin number 7 that's why i am enter here pin number 7 like this sorry increase the size okay this is arduino i am using pin number 7 okay click to here and select this okay now all done okay this is the r pin number 7 i am using servo signal pins yellow pin number 7 okay that's why 7 and servo number 0 because this is a one servo starting 0 and number of servo is 1 like this all done okay now you see this is a continuity operation we need to continuity operation okay that's why right click on here structure and while loop why i am using a uh, while loop on in between in those in these two because you see uh, if you need to declaration then it's using a one time okay if you uh, need to declare a servo or a pin that you need to a one time okay if you need to continuity operation or a change the servo motor that you need to create on a loop okay that's a while loop okay that's why i'm creating here and shift register help to store the value or store, store the data if the store data is here then again from here to here this system is repeat okay first start from this okay after initialize this then enter the loop and the loop is start um, like, like uh, i'm using y loop that is uh, starting from infinity okay like i right click here and create a control okay this is stop button okay because help of this we need to control our servo motor as per your requirement okay okay let's start and you see there have a two pins servo number okay right click on here create a control okay this is the servo number okay you use servo number 1 or sorry 0 because you already declare here if you servo number 0 then you need to enter same value like 0 servo number 0 okay okay like this then you see there is angle degree right click here and create control this is the control of servo angle okay now i'm change uh, right click here and replace and come to numeric and change as per your comment like this okay i am enter the angle like 180 degree okay 0 to 180 degree 
like this okay this is the servo motor angle rotation degree okay okay call here and change the color uh, i'm using the black okay now done yes okay you see this is the read okay this is the servo number same that uh, directly connect on the same servo number okay and this is a uh, read right click and create indicator this is for indication okay this is the right and this is the feet and it's display the what's the value on here okay now all are complete okay all uh, complete now control T and connect your Arduino to the lab okay now uh, refresh the com come here refresh then click and select your latest like this okay now I'm this is the stop button okay now uh, click to run okay and you need to refresh button here this is press for refresh okay it's something wrong maybe then turn off then again remove your hardware again connect okay now again uh, select your port refresh now select it and then run okay now start you see the TX and RX is constant it makes fully work okay now let's start when I change the knob okay when I move this knob and you see the rotation of the servo motor is rotated you see the angle this is the 180 and uh, this is the analog and you see they have uh, sorry this is the uh, uh, for read okay and they display the value 180 degree okay when I change you see this is from 0 you see okay you can control as per your recommend okay like this okay you can change like this okay as per requirement you can easily move like this this is the 180 degree because here display and when you move this is our 90 degree and this is from zero angle okay now project is fully complete okay you can modify as per requirement if you use uh, you can use two three servo motor as per your requirement okay you can try it okay now it's fully complete now turn off uh, our project and thanks a lot guys if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe our channel thanks a lot guys